there are 1,200 houseboats in all of Srinagar, India. Let's go take a look at this incredible houseboat. Wow. <laughs> Oh, this, is, this is traditional Kashmiri design and we are we, wearing in um, like uh, ma marriages. Jumka. 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 Yeah. Jumka. Oh my goodness. So they literally made us a feast. We have to serve dinner for the, our guys, our, our guests. Like look at this whole room. This whole room, it's totally blowing my mind. But for now, let's check out this amazing, beautiful, stunning, perfect, amazing, glorious, I think I used every adjective I can think of, houseboat. Good morning and welcome to our second full day here in Kashmir, India. Today we're doing something very special, well over the next 24 hours. We are going to be staying on a houseboat here in Kashmir, India, otherwise known as heaven on earth or Switzerland of India. We are currently on the Nagin Lake here in Srinagar, Kashmir, India. And one of the most popular things to do here for tourists is to come stay on one of these gorgeous houseboats. You can get a range of houseboats here in Kashmir, starting from budget houseboats all the way to super luxury houseboats. And today we are on a very luxury houseboat. We have learned that there are 1,200 houseboats, and that's why it is one of the most popular things to do here when you're in Srinagar. This houseboat in particular, we have learned, took six years to build. And the reason why it took six years to build is because there is an unbelievable amount of handcrafted art in the wood, like chipped into the cedar wood over this, literally this entire houseboat. It's truly one of the most like beautiful, unbelievable things we've ever seen. I mean, handcrafted art on the ceilings, on the walls, on the tables, on the couches, on the beds, also custom silk curtains and blankets and everything like that, which if you didn't know that this part of India is where pashminas are made, so silk is like one of the top products here in Kashmir, India. And what we're in right now is the living room of this houseboat. This houseboat has five bedrooms. There are four on the bottom and then there's one on the top. So one of the things that they first said when we arrived was, do you like surprises? And of course, Nick and I were like, yeah, we love surprises. So they ended up upgrading us from one of the bottom rooms to the top floor, which is like a special room, but which we'll go into a little bit more on why that's extra special. But for now, let's take a look at this living room. This in particular is a mache, and so it looks like it would be really heavy, but it's all made out of paper mache and recycled paper mache, which is apparently a very popular design here in Kashmir. Let's go check out the dining room because it also is incredible. This is the dining room and dinner and breakfast are included in the price of your houseboat. So come on in and check out the amazing dining room. First things first, I have to say this table is actually the most incredible table I've ever seen. It is a mahogany table that is handcrafted so it's like it's really like just the detail that that artist had to do for this piece of wood. It is so beautiful. Like look at this table. <laughs> so there's a keeper that lives on this houseboat with the guests. So if there's anything you need, anything at all, he's always there to help with it. My name is Makbul, caretaker on the boat. The Gurkha boat. So he was telling us we can go check out the other three rooms and he's gonna take us so that we can look at them before the other guests get here because I think that it's fully booked. This is the high season in Srinagar, so I imagine it's fully booked here. Here's bedroom one. Okay. This category has three rooms. Three rooms. Yeah, three rooms, this category. Another room is like that, uh, but because not balcony, okay. and not like last room. I show you also that. 
here's bedroom two. Oh my goodness, the lights. Oh, this is beautiful too, this like little backlight right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Bedroom number three. These closets. Mm, you can smell the wood. Oh, it smells so good. Yes. It's cedar wood, right? Cedar, yes. Oh, you it's can cedar. smell the cedar wood. <gasps> but it's not outside in the garage, but looking garage. Oh. The inside, look. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't get over all of this. Go go this is suite number one. I'm going to do on corridor. Right here. We can, uh... Yes, this is similar to upstairs. Yeah, this is similar to upstairs. But let's go look at suite number two, which is the honeymoon suite in our room. Welcome to the honeymoon suite in our houseboat here in Srinagar, Kashmir, India. This suite is so special for many reasons. First and foremost, it is brand new to this boat. We are the only room here on the second floor. Number two is that it has its own terrace and the terrace looks out directly to the mountains. And like I said earlier, this is called the Switzerland of India. So you get just the most incredible views. The third reason that it is very special that they upgraded us to this room is because this room costs 35,000 rupee a night but we didn't pay anywhere near that. So them upgrading us is just such a gift and just seriously, uh, I can't even explain it. This bed is I think the thing I'm most excited for in this room because it feels like I'm a queen. And to Nick I am, my babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this furniture. And it's like this everywhere. It's unbelievable. So let's go take a look at the bathroom. The entrance is this like silk that I was talking about, also handcrafted here. It comes with a beautiful shower and a nice toilet and all of the amenities that we have not gotten yet in India. So this is a nice treat. checked in they had mentioned that we could go like see the carpets that they make because it is something that comes from this region of the world but they're waiting for me downstairs so I really need to get going because I'm kind of lagging here so let's go. From one end to another end there should be 18 dots. Look at this. Anywhere from here. We're starting from here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Yep, I see it. 18 from this way. So we were gonna go for a Shikara ride, but I think it's going to start raining. But our plan was to go out there for sunset, watch the sunset, be on a boat, be all romantic. You can see the rain. You see all that? Yeah, it's coming in hot. So I don't think we're gonna make that tonight, unfortunately, but we did take one on the way here that was very unplanned. So we just got dropped off by a taxi to our houseboat. I'm not really sure neither Nick nor I really know what's going on. <laughs> our bags! <laughs> Thank you! A little tip for you when you are looking for houseboats here on the Nagin Lake it is super quiet and tranquil and we were told on Dahl Lake it is crazy busy way more houseboats and a lot of hotels so if you're looking for a little more peace and quiet 
Nagin Lake is the place that you want to be. We just heard like a super big thunder boom so we have a feeling it's gonna start to rain i did talk to our keeper and we are going to be eating dinner at 7 p.m tonight but we're just we're here for the ride this is chicken dry uh the lentil Ooh. Because it's a dal. Huh? Okay. This is modern Kashmiri jo Rogan Josh. Is ko oh, called. Rogan Josh. Yes. So they literally made us a feast. And uh, the chapati, uh, chicken, mutton, vegetable, dal, rice, and uh, uh, salad, uh, pickle, everything is uh, uh, everything on the table. Thank you Thank so much. You. Looks amazing fills your mouth with flavor and that is delicious. But now we have a lot of food to eat. I mean, everything looks so good. Best food we've had in India so far. Make sure when you come here, you ask to book houseboat four because that's our keeper and just like the whole, the whole thing is just amazing. That dinner was so delicious. They literally removed all of the chairs around that huge table except for two so we could sit there alone and eat. People were like in the main living room common area like a bunch of families and they kept coming in and like having conversations with us because they just want to talk to us and so the whole meal we were literally like trying to eat and talk to people. I just noticed that the light turns on right here like look at these this like backlight on the beautiful carved wood. Okay wait let me turn off the lights. Hold on. Oh, 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 strobe light. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so cool. Can you even see me? We cannot even see you. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. They see it. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's so cool. Can you see me now? No. Can, can you see me now? <laughs> Good night. Good morning from the beautiful sunrise that was such a restful sleep and i woke up this morning early so i could watch the sunrise but the best thing about it is that i was hearing a call to prayer and monks ch chanting at the same time oh, i want to stay one more day 24 hours is not enough time <laughs> I loved that sunrise for so many reasons. But I think the main reason that I loved that sunrise was because the water was so still and the sun was shining both on the sun and the water. So it almost was like I got two sunrises out of it. As you can tell, I just woke up. So I need to go get myself ready. We have a couple more things that we're doing left on this houseboat today. But now I need to go get ready and wake up my husband. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. 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 Oh wow. This is bracelets. Pretty. Different. Beautiful design. You design? Yeah, this is my design. Thank you. Wow. wow. Amazing. Traditional full set Kashmiri marriage yeah. jewelry. My name is Shakil Ahmad from uh, Kashmir. And also I'm showing a lot of things. In these things I'm showing in, in Nagin houseboards, in Gorkha houseboards, I'm showing in these things. Amazing. Thank you. But look at what I got. This little pendant. Yay. I'm so happy. 
most of the nights were already booked up. When I first looked at this place, they had a decent amount of availability, considering like this is the start of the high season. When I went back like four days later, they were almost all booked up and they had one night available. That is why we're here for one night. And let me tell you, it was so worth it. We're gonna put the link and everything in the description up to this houseboat. But yeah, this place took a lot of effort to find and I'm so glad that I found it. And I wanna share it with everyone because this place is amazing and the price point for it, it's like, the quality is up here and the price is right here. But we're about to go eat breakfast, so let's go. Amazing. Okay, you want me to do breakfast? Wish you off, huh? Thank okay, you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Another big breakfast. The breakfasts here are not small, so if you're not a breakfast person, you're not gonna do okay here. But we are gonna close the video here for today. I hope you enjoyed the 24 hours with us here on this houseboat on Nagin Lake in heaven on earth. It is seriously so beautiful here and we are so sad to leave. So next video we will be in Delhi. But if you like this video, please give it a like, show your friends. If you know anyone that's coming to this part of India, definitely share with them because this is a must do thing. It is seriously, can't get over the view, it's just incredible. If you wanna keep following along for the rest of our India series, hit that subscribe button because we have like 10 more videos coming out. So definitely stay tuned for that. But until next time, we'll see you on the go. What they call it? What's the paper? Mache. Let me open it. You ready? Yeah. It is made out of what kind of wood? Mahogany, right? Mahogany. It is, it, okay. here's bedroom two. Oh, <laughs> but they're, they're waiting on, but they're waiting on me down. <clears throat> we are staying at the Welcome House. Huh? Welcome Heritage Gurkha House. Okay, okay. We are staying at the Welcome Heritage Gurkha House. Ha I'm so close, okay. We are staying at the Welcome Heritage. <laughs> Welcome Heritage Gurkha House. Okay. Welcome to the start of our 24 hours on a houseboat here in Nagin Lake. Ooh, I was so close. Okay, let's do it again, let's do it again. Welcome to our houseboat here on Nagin Lake in Kashmir, India. Oh, I was supposed to say. Welcome to the start of our 24 hours here on a houseboat. Ooh, I was so close. You had it. I said yes. an houseboat. Okay, let's do it one more time. You could have just said it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That was so many words. <laughs> Let me do that one more time, one more time. I got it, I got it. Welcome to the start of 24 hours on a houseboat here in Kashmir, India. We're going with that one. That one is, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. But we are about to hit the head. What, what? <laughs> I've never said that in my life. <laughs> Literally never said that. <laughs> Doesn't that mean go to the bathroom? <laughs> hit the head? Hit the head. What's hit the head? <clears throat> I think that means go to the bathroom. I don't know. I just, the curry's getting me to me, I guess. <clears throat>